Today we'll discuss a very interesting problem in permutations and combinations and the problem is in how many ways we can paint six faces of a cube with six different colors. So we have six different colors and we need to use all the six colors and using all these six colors we have to paint all the six faces of a cube and the question is in how many ways can it be done so the first thing that generally comes to our mind is now we have six colors and six faces so six colors on six faces can be arranged in factorial six ways so answer to this question is factorial six but clearly for this question answer is not factorial six now how do we solve this problem to solve this problem we need to understand linear and circular arrangements so we'll start with a simple problem what are the possible arrangements of three distinct objects say a b and c so suppose we have three distinct objects a b and c and we are discussing their possible linear arrangement so we know that these three objects linearly can be arranged as either a b c a c b b a c b c a c a b and c b a so that is they can be arranged in six ways which is factorial three ways now another way of looking at the problem is in terms of number of choices for arrangement so we have three linear positions and they are to be filled with these three letters now for this first position we have three choices so it could be any one of a b or c now for the second position now since one of a b and c they have already been positioned so for the second one we have two choices and for the last one we have only one choice so total number of ways in which we can arrange a b and c in a line is simply 1 into 2 into 3 which is factorial 3 ways which actually is 6 ways pretty simple right now if we generalize this concept then if we have n distinct objects and if we have to arrange these n distinct objects linearly that is we have to arrange these n distinct objects in n positions then for this first position we have n choices for second one we'll have n minus 1 choices then n minus 2 choices and then simply it will be 3 2 and 1 so total number of choices will be 1 into 2 into 3 up to n so it will simply be factorial n choices so the total number of ways of arranging n distinct objects in a line is factorial n now what if we have to arrange abc on a circle rather than on a line so now we'll consider circular arrangements so we have to arrange abc on a circle now on a circle there are two possible arrangements so either it could be abc or it could be a c b and there is no other arrangement possible so on a circle we have only two arrangements compared to six on a line now how do we make sense of this so what we'll do is let us try and arrange these six linear arrangements on a circle so we'll make six circles Now first we'll take this a b c so this is a and then suppose b and then c first one it corresponds to a b c now second one is a c b so it is a and then c and then b so it is a c b now b a c so it is b then a and then c so it corresponds to b a c then b c a so this is b c a next one is c a b so it is c a b and then we have c b a so it is c b and a 
so which corresponds to C B A. Now, if we look at A B C, B C A, and C A B, all these three arrangements they are anti-clockwise arrangements of A B C. So basically, all these three arrangements they correspond to this one configuration, and that is anti-clockwise arrangement of A B C. Now these remaining three configurations, so it is A B C clockwise. It's also A B C clockwise, and here also it is A B C clockwise. So the remaining three arrangements they correspond to this configuration, which is A B C in. clockwise direction so all the six configurations basically they give way to only two configurations and which is either abc clockwise or abc anti clockwise so we have only two cases on a circle instead of six cases that were present on a line now we we'll try and figure out why circular arrangements are different from linear arrangements the difference between a line and a circle is a line always have a starting point so suppose when we have a line we know this line it starts from here but when we say we have a circle so there is no starting point on a circle so when we arrange n objects in a line we know that we have a starting point and all these factorial n arrangements they'll be different but on a circle we do not have that luxury of having a starting point so basically on a circle what we do is we choose any one object and assign it a place on a circle and then arrange remaining n minus 1 objects relative to it and it can be done in factorial n minus 1 ways so on a line n objects can be arranged in factorial n ways and on a circle they can be arranged in factorial n minus 1 way and that is the reason when we have arranged abc on a line we have factorial 3 which is 6 ways and on a circle we have factorial 3 minus 1 which is factorial 2 and that is only two possible ways now we'll come back to our problem which is we have to color six faces of a cube with six different colors now clearly it is not a linear arrangement so answer is not factorial 6 all the six faces of a cube they are identical as it was in cyclic permutations so there is no starting point here as well so we need to fix one color on any one face and arrange all the other colors relative to it so out of these six colors we need to paint any one face with any one color so let us paint one face with say red so let us choose this color red and then we'll paint any one face so suppose we paint this face with the red so now we have a starting point on our cube now how many choices we have for the face opposite to this red face so red it is already gone so from the remaining five we can put any color on the face which is opposite to this red face now we have five choices and from these five colors we can put any one color say green so let us put green here so now we have a cube with two opposite faces painted with a red and green and we are left with four unpainted faces and four colors so we have four faces so 1 2 3 and 4 and then we have four colors as well now what we'll do is we'll rearrange the cube so we'll rearrange the cube then the problem will look little familiar so what i'll do is i'll rearrange this cube now say on the top face we have red color and then on the bottom face say we have green color now we are left with four colors and we are left with four faces now the problem looks familiar all these four faces are similar to arrangement on a circle so four objects on a circle can be arranged in factorial three ways so all these four faces they can be painted in factorial three ways total number of ways of painting the cube will simply be 5 we have this choice and then for this circular arrangement we have factorial 3 which is 5 into 6 and that is 
30. So the total number of ways in which we can paint this cube with six different colors is 30.